In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your oil pressure switch or sensor, which is located on your oil filter housing. And if you look between the transmission here and the front drive shaft, if you have a four wheel drive vehicle, you can find it on the back side of it. First thing I want to do is unplug it. It's kind of hard to reach, but I'm going to try to use some needle nose pliers to help me grab it. Squeeze the tab, there we go. Pull it straight off. Be careful not to break this wire. Set that aside. Now use a 21 millimeter socket. I'm using the swivel as well as an extension. And that's the only way that I can get it in here. It's a 3 8 drive, half inch is too big. And just try to break it free. It shouldn't be too tight. There you go. And now just take it out the rest of the way. Keep in mind, there might be some oil coming out of here, especially if the vehicle ran recently. I'm going to take my socket off and then continue taking it off by hand. Uh, my vehicle hasn't run in a few weeks, so it actually doesn't have much oil in there. But here it is. I'm cleaning up this area up here where the oil leaked. Now the reason I'm not cleaning up around there is because I don't want to get debris inside of the oil um, pressure sensor hole and getting this on is not going to be easy because I can barely fit my hands in here but I'm just trying to thread it on the first thread once it's on the first thread I can let go and just use a, a tool let's get our socket up here and thread this on the rest of the way now when you thread this on, keep in mind it doesn't completely bottom out. It only goes about halfway up the threads until you're supposed to stop. So you can look at the old one for a reference to see how far you're actually supposed to tighten it because you can over tighten it if you don't pay attention. Okay, it's getting snug. So I'm gonna give it one more and I'm gonna stop right here. And this is actually exactly where the connector is also going to line up to how it was before, so that's actually perfect. So I'm going to plug in the electrical connector again. Okay, make sure it clicks, and now you would turn on the engine, make sure the oil pressure is where it's supposed to be, make sure that you don't have an oil pressure light on, the warning light, and obviously make sure that it doesn't leak. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.